Sri Lanka will temporarily lose the preferential access to the EU markets. Uh, uh, this is starting from mid-August of this year. Sri Lanka has now officially lost the GSP plus trade concessions and thousands of jobs in the apparel sector are in danger as companies begin to cost cut and minimize their staff. 45-year-old Ajit is one out of the many in the apparel sector who has already lost his job and is now finding it difficult to make ends meet. On July 2nd, Ajit's wife Kokila gave birth to triplets, making him the father of eight children. She says that while she had many hopes for her newborn sons when her husband was employed, their futures now look bleak with no income coming in. Then <laughs> Mulimah, <laughs> Ajit, who lives in a small rented home in Panadura, says that he might have to step onto the streets very soon with his family if he does not get a job. Hoping and praying that a change will soon happen, he urges for help to at least buy his newborn son's milk powder, which he is currently finding difficult to purchase. Then <laughs> With little knowledge that the fallout of the GSP trade concessions would have such a drastic impact on his life, Ajit says that he might never return to the garment sector in fear of losing his job again. Sir, since February this year, both the government and the EU began discussions in order to renew the trade concessions. However, while the EU slammed 15 conditions on the Lankan government, which the state outright rejected, the EU says that it is still hopeful that the government will respond.
we still uh, hope that we will be able to engage in dialogue with the, go- with the government. The, the, the date proposed for a response uh, was in order to enable the Commission eventually to revise its recommendation on the status of GSP+. Uh, it wasn't so much a deadline as simply the fact that given our council doesn't meet uh, in August, it was to enable us then. to withdraw uh, uh, this access was actually taken uh, a while ago in February, but the EU has offered uh, to the Sri Lankan authorities uh, a a way out basically uh, in exchange uh, for tangible and sustainable progress on the number of outstanding issues regarding the human rights. We were ready to to reconsider this. Unfortunately, uh, we haven't received a reply from the Sri Lankan authorities. Uh, until the the deadline that we have internally set. Basically, we we very much regret uh, the the choice that Sri Lanka has made. We are keeping the doors open for Sri Lanka to return to talks. Uh, Obviously, uh, where we need, uh, where we want Sri Lanka to make commitment is on the global human rights agenda. The government in the meantime announced in February that it had already prepared the economy to face the loss of the GSP and was not willing to give in to unfair demands laid down by the European Commission. We have always, always said we must be in a position to deal with the risk of this nature and especially a risk where it is a trade concession that we receive on a non-reciprocal basis. The chances of it being removed is very high. So we have to deal with that. Then at the same time, we have to realize that these concessions will be removed at some stage. When a country progresses, uh, cannot expect to be treated like a poor uh, country all the time. So if we progress, then we have to be able to understand that there will be at some stage the holding hand period being removed. So once you are stronger, you cannot be holding on to somebody's hand all the time. It's a Sri Lankan government was giving in to certain things. They would have given in by now. Maybe you're not going to wait till this happens. There were so many times that they wanted certain things to be uh, done, uh, which the Sri Lankan government was not in a position to do because they did not want to barter away the sovereignty of the nation. So that position would be there. That is why it has come to this thing. Otherwise, this question would have arisen. Some other government may have said, okay, we don't mind anything. Uh, we want this 7% concession, so we will even sell the country. But that is not the way that this government has worked. So this government has taken a certain policy stand, and I think the people have stood by that. With the EU maintaining that it will renew the GSP only if the written submission is provided to their conditions, and the government outright rejecting it, the future of the country's apparel sector indeed looks bleak.